Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a free test org, more commonly known as a playground in Salesforce. The first thing you're going to need to do is to log into Trailhead. If you haven't already signed up for a free Trailhead account, then pause the video and sign up for one at trailhead.com. After you log in, we're going to navigate to the upper right hand corner of the page and click on the profile icon. From here, we're going to click on hands on orgs. Once you're on the hands-on org page, we're going to click Create Playground. Salesforce automatically populates a playground name, but for this example, we're going to just call this First Playground. So it's going to take a few minutes to create. While it loads, I thought I'd mention that Salesforce allows you up to 10 active playgrounds at one time. It's good to create different playgrounds if you're working on different projects in Trailhead. It's just good practice in general to separate data that's unrelated to each other. If I'm working on a project that's for a bakery and another project that's for a bike shop, you wouldn't want to use the same playground where the product's object has both cookies and bicycle data in it. You can do it. But like they always say, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So our playground is done loading. Congratulations on creating your first playground. Now you'll be able to start playing around with the platform and getting hands-on experience. One last thing I wanted to go over was how you will use your playground to complete Trailhead modules. Some modules will just have a quiz at the end of the reading, which won't require a playground. But others like this one... We'll have a box at the bottom of the screen where you're going to need to launch a playground to complete a challenge, as you can see here. If you click on this box, you can select any of the various playgrounds that you've created. So we're going to click on the first playground. This might already be defaulted if this is your first playground you've ever created. Additionally, I want to highlight that you can also create a playground from within this choose a hands-on org selection. We're going to still go with first playground and then we're going to click launch. So from here, I'd recommend that you'd go up to this app launcher where it has the Rubik's cube looking icon and you can either select sales or service. I would recommend clicking on the sales icon. And that's really it from here. You can follow the challenge instructions. And then after you complete the various instructions, you can go back to the learning module you were working on and then click the check challenge button down at the bottom. So that's really all I have for this video. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. And if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.